Many of us are feeling the pinch at the pump for diesel. It reached $5 a gallon this year. It has come down slightly, but it's still much more than it should be. So, here's our response to high fuel prices. Biodiesel. Very simple, very affordable, and fun to do, in my opinion. <laughs> First off, we built a 6x10 room in our garage slash shop, so to speak. It's a little messy right now, as we just finished. Um, but inside this room, here's the barrel where we collect the oil from restaurants. I don't have my uh, filtration screen over here. So um, normally there's a screen on top of this barrel, and then you pour the used oil into this barrel. The screen filters it, and it collects in this barrel. Um, you may be wondering why the uh, out uh, this valve here is about six inches from the bottom. The reason being is any water or big deposits that get by the uh, screen will settle at the bottom of the barrel here. And you don't want to get that stuff in your system if possible. So we avoid the bottom six inches of oil. From there... It runs to this pump, which we got from Northern Tool and Equipment. It's designed specifically for pumping biodiesel or oil. And it runs up into the first whole house water filter, which can consists of a 20 micron filter inside. And then it runs over to the second filter. It's the same unit, just a different filter inside. As you can see, it's black. That's because this is a 5 micron carbon filter that removes or it helps to remove water and um, if you use this with water they'll say it like reduces chlorine taste or reduces chlorine so that's how you know you will got the right thing and then it runs up here into this goldenrod water block filter this removes water actually it just filters the water and then if there's any water in your oil you'll notice it piling up on the bottom here and then you just turn this little valve here and it allows the water to drain out but that also acts as a filter as well from there it runs into the mixing tank this is where we mix kerosene gasoline power service diesel clean and we also use diesel secret energies additive this is available at dieselsecretenergy.com and let's see one ounce should be added to every six gallons of fuel so it doesn't take much yet it does a lot we figured with this this only costs us about 10 cents a gallon so that's pretty cheap as well as um, they also send you a drill pump which you can use for pumping your oil at the restaurants there's a UV light if you plan on storing your fuel for a while and then they have these crystals. They remove water from the fuel and they will also soften when they remove the water because it absorbs water. And you can tell if you've got water in your oil or not. As well as uh, videos and a complete instruction manual on how to make your own biodiesel fuel. I don't have enough oil to run my setup so um, when I get some oil, I'll take a video of it running and upload it for you guys. But for now, this is basically, you know, how to set it up and what to do. So anyway, we mix all these ingredients in this tank. And then we've got another pump here. This was a uh, water pump. However, it can also be used for this fuel since it's been thinned out with kerosene, gasoline, DSE, and diesel clean. So when we mix it... Uh, collector there in the bottom picks it up from the bottom of the tank pumps it up here and then we just let the screen hose run back to the top and it recirculates the oil and mixes it up after a few minutes of mixing take this small cap off here of this metal 55 gallon drum run this little hose over to here turn the pump on pump it all out of the mixing tank into this black storage tank and this is the final product very easy. That's fast too. That 
Once the final product is ready for use, we back our trucks and tractors and what have you. We have yet to run a uh, hole into the room here so we can run a garden hose out. Back the truck in, put the hose into the fuel tank, turn the crank, and you get biodiesel coming out. So that's pretty much my setup. My dad and grandfather did a lot to help me uh, with this, so I thank them. And uh, your total cost for a setup is probably several hundred dollars. That pump there was two hundred dollars. Water filtration system was another few hundred. That filter there was about forty. That pump was eighty. This hand pump is fifty. So you're looking at probably several hundred dollars for this whole setup. However, though, if you consider paying five dollars a gallon for diesel fuel, I find it much easier to pay forty-five cents a gallon and have an initial several hundred dollars as my setup. So that's pretty much my setup. Oh, and one other thing. Always consider safety. We have a fire extinguisher set outside the building should anything happen. I haven't had any encounters with fire yet, but just in case, there's our fire extinguisher. Also, you'll want to keep your biodiesel fuel above freezing in the winter time, so that's why we built this room, basically to keep it warm in the winter. And there's a problem with that though, because you'll build up a lot of fumes with this fuel. So we put an exhaust fan in to keep the fresh air coming in and the uh, fumes from gas and all that going out that just runs to the outside of the building that was simple these walls are insulated to the max that we could get as well as the roof so we've got this pretty well insulated uh, I don't have an electric heater in here because it's in the middle of the summer so we just haven't moved our heater in yet if you have any questions or any suggestions or ideas, just feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message on YouTube. That'd be great. And uh, if you're considering doing this kind of stuff, um, I think it's a go. We've been using it for a while in our tractor and excursion, and it still runs perfectly. runs like new. Just don't slack off on filtering. Uh, filter your fuel to the best that you can. I mean, within reason. Our fuel, or the oil rather, is filtered about one, two, three, four, about five times. We have a filter that runs uh, runs into the tank of our truck before it's before we use it in the vehicle. So that's my setup. Um, again, I apologize for not having any oil to show you how this runs, but I thought I would take a video and just show you how it's done before we get some oil here. Um, if I do get some oil, which I plan on getting some from the donut shop sooner or later, whenever they get it, um, I'll upload a video of this system in action so you guys can see how it works. Works pretty cool. So that's my setup. That's how we fill up our diesel vehicles for 45 cents a gallon.